This time on Pedalbox, we're working on the front of the car again, building some structure for our arches and wings, and we're building some of the floor supports under the radiator. And yes, I'm still wearing the shirt I set on fire. So last time we got our headlights installed and built these extensions to hold the bumper further away so that we could fit everything in and it wouldn't interfere with the wheel. So that's all sorted, but there's more to add onto these extensions and onto our original radiator mount. Our plan is to have a big flat floor that comes all the way across the bottom of the car, and that means having a splitter that comes right out to the front. Now, we can't do that if we mount it all the way back here where the bottom of the radiator is, because it's well over 18 inches from there to here. It's sort of 40 to 50 centimeters, give or take. And it's gonna just flap around. So we're gonna have to mount it some way, but we need a reasonably strong mount about halfway down, I reckon. So I'm gonna build something onto the radiator mount, which will come down and also come across to the outside edge of where the wheel is for the arch to join up and for the bodywork at the side to really mount onto something securely. Now, anything we put forward of that, we're still gonna try and make it as lightweight as possible. So I'm gonna limit my use of inch box to only behind this line. That will give me enough strength low down to mount everything else off without compromising lots and lots of big heavy weight leaning out over the front of the car. Although maybe we want that, considering the amount of weight we've got in the back of the car, this will help keep the tyres down. Now everything's out of the way, we can get in and start extending the support. I've got some half inch box here, which I'm gonna put on right at the edge in a continuation from this main bar that goes from one side to the other. Now we need to get this level all the way across. So in order to do that, I'm gonna clamp this piece of 20 mil box right over the top, spanning both sides, clamp it in and use that as a reference to make sure that this piece stays right plumb level across the whole car. So that's now dead straight across the car. I can put this one underneath and then clamp it in. We can use the square to make sure it's level all the way across here and make sure that it's level all the way across the outside of this. Now, this wants to come out ever so slightly at this end, so we can just release the clamp a tiny bit, pull it out to in line, I hope the clamp doesn't move it when we put it back on. So now that's in, we can weld it onto the back of here. Now I didn't take this off initially because I wanted to measure it against and make sure that it was parallel to this, that we're pretty sure is parallel to everything else. So with that in, I can now unbolt this one and get in nice and easy to weld all around it. So I've popped the wheel off and I've just clamped this piece of steel across the bottom so we can measure up for the next piece we need. This is some 20 mil box that I've cut into an angle so that we can put it around the corner here and keep the weight down. It'll still give us what we need. So this is 330 mil from here all the way up to the very top of our bracket. And I've actually notched this already, the half inch we need to fit underneath that. So that fits in nice. We know that this is level with this now and we can weld this in where we need it. The angle's gonna go on the outside edge of the front plate that holds the bumper mounts on and just weld in around. And this will give us a nice strong vertical mount to start building out from the bottom of the radiator section across to the outside of the wheel. And the next part to go in is gonna join from the very bottom here out onto the inside edge of this angle bracket we just put in. And that's gonna be done in inch box. So we can start marking this up just by putting this onto the bottom here and taking a couple of measurements.
So I've cut two lower supports. Well, actually I've cut three lower supports, but this one was too short. So we'll ignore that one and we'll concentrate on the two that actually fit. This goes right underneath here into the back of this L-shaped support we added before and it comes and joins right into the very bottom of the radiator bracket. We'll weld all this up, tack it in and then completely weld it up later on once we've got everything in and I can take this whole assembly off the car and make it much, much easier. Now we can build the very lowest part to mirror this. I'm going to build the middle piece in inch box partly because it fits in with everything else and it just works, partly because we need this to be quite strong. This is going to have the floor underneath and a top that comes in and flutes air in towards the radiator. So this is some big areas of material that we don't want flapping around. Now at the sides I've got some 20mm box that I've split into L pieces again and this is going to go on on the end in here. And this will match up and then we'll extend it down each side and we'll make that into a nice big square that we can use for the inside of the arch and building on the edge of the bodywork and all sorts of bits and pieces. Now we can spray all this up, put it all back together and move on. Now we've got the front of the car back together, we can start adding the last piece we need to in order to join these two frames together. I'm going to make a little bracket that sits at the same level as the plate underneath the light and use half inch steel to do it. That'll stop the two plates flexing back and forward, but I need this one to be removable from the rear frame so that it can all come apart in different pieces. So I'm probably going to weld a nut onto the end of this and then bolt through this side and we'll probably use the same bolt to hold the inner piece of our arch. So I'm going to go and split this together and then we'll start looking at the nut drilling the hole and welding it all up. Ugh. Well, this is a real milestone for the project. We're starting to build framework to take bodywork, not just main chassis components. Now we've got it tied in nicely into the headlight, so that's all good. I'm really happy with how this has come along, and I really like how everything has come together. If you like what we're doing, why not subscribe to the channel, like the video, and drop us a comment to let us know exactly what you think. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. And if you'd like to buy any of our definitely not flameproof t-shirts, you can go to shop.pedalbox.show where I'll be going to get something new to replace this one. And if you want to support the channel directly, go to patreon.com slash pedalboxshow where you can become a supporter of the channel for as little as a dollar all the way up to ten dollars. Thanks very much for watching. Next time we're probably going to be extending these arches more and actually building a lot more of the structure up the front, which is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. That has been on my list and I've been thinking about that for about six months now. I actually bought the steel to build the arches in about December, just before Christmas, thinking it was going to happen way sooner. So to actually get it mounted, we'll get it out of the way and it's going to be a really big step for us. Catch us then. We'll see you later.